Hello dear, Susan here and welcome to Week View. I have the new 2019 planner. This extended mid-year goes from April 2019 and lasts till September 2020. Let's just have a quick flip through. Um, in this planner you'll get sticker sheets and you will also get a year at a glance or the mid-year at a glance this is in the planner and let's have a flip through now here we have personal info instructions on how to use the week view planner then we have the international holidays not all of them that's why there is um, a space where you can write down your local holidays. Then we have the 2019, 2019 year at a glance. And here I've used them for birthdays and wedding anniversaries and holidays. You can write down your business trips or your exam um, finals in here. Here's 2021. Here's the most important page, your goals page, you don't set a goal, then you will not know what you would like to achieve. So um, we have that set up. This is just an example of how you could use it. And here is an example of the project pages. You can use them, of course, as houses, moving, exams, or all the projects that you have when they have to be done when you would like to launch them and that kind of thing. Then we have the yearly reflection right at the front, just like the other planners now, and so that you'll always flip through and remember to fill it out. What was good, what wasn't good? Here we have the goals for 2020 and projects for 2020 also. Now we start off with the Q quarterly plans, and this is just a, a real big overview of the quarter the second quarter of this year 2019 and here you have a tracker of what you were able to do and just something that you will look on what went well what didn't go well if you have like loads of headaches or um illnesses then you can take this with you to your doctor and you'll know when you know when you're not feeling very well so we go into the weeks i have a week set up for you like so this is just an example of an moving week and um, what you need to do what the most important things to do for the move and also um, what you have to do for work there we go so let's go all the pages are the same then we have the quarterly plannings in between every three months that's the second quarter of 2020 then let me just flip through do the notes section here. So we have an explanation of how you could use the notes section. Here is the index, so you'll always find your notes. Half pages. So you can have different projects, different to-do lists, different shopping lists. Then we have a larger um, grid where you can write down your expenses or if you're into a project and you would like to know if the new project is buying a new van, then how much it's going to cost you and so that you can work it out at the end of the year, how much you need to save or how much you um, need to earn, that you need to earn more. Or if it's a pro and contra, do we really need a new van? Things like that. And then um, we have a few pages of dotted pages where you can write or draw um, whatever you need. And of course it is all noted. You will find your pages again at the, oh, why don't you come in at the notes section, index section, and you'll never lose anything again. So that was the dotted pages. And then you have your school set schedule, your school schedule. There we go. So that was just a, a quick flip through of the new 2019 mid-year extended. Okay, don't forget there are stickers, so help you and a yearly overview. 
and if you have any questions to how you could use any of the week view planners do put them in the comments below give this a thumbs up subscribe to our channel don't forget to ring the bell and you'll get notified when a video is up okay have a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon bye